question is, okay, what, what are you competing? And how are you defining that segment? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and sometimes, you know, I think it goes to one of the comments that that, that fellow that was sitting over there had made is, that, well, you know, in this segment we don't have any competition. Yeah, but maybe that's just a component of the segment. The segment is a lot bigger than that is coming. So the definition of the segment, and by the way, I don't want to make these very complicated because they're not complicated thoughts. The value chain. This is something that uh, often gets ignored. And what I mean by the value chain is, okay, you probably can't read that, but this is like the interpretation of the wireless value chain. It just basically says, look, you might be developing a technology that is in the application development area, but if you do that, you've got to lay it all out. You got to understand the entire value chain because if you don't and you're focusing only on one component, you're basically missing potential partners and potential competitors and potential ways to market. So, and not only that, the investor wants to see that you've thought this through and that you know you're here, the whole value chain is this way. How are you going to play in that value chain, not just in the segment? Did you? Have a question? I'm not sure I understand the concept of the value chain to start with. The va oh, yeah, well, the value chain is the entire industry. Okay? So if you were able to read this chart, it basically says over here you have the folks in the, in the wireless industry. You have the chipsets, infrastructure, and platform people. Okay? So you got the Intel and Ericsson's and Symbian and Sun and so on. Okay? At the next level, you have the handset makers, the Nokia, the Sam Samsung. The next level, you have the application development, the content development, the operators, and the resellers. Okay? So that's the value chain of that industry. And you're going to work in one segment, but you've got to understand the whole thing. And you've got to explain to yourself and to investors how are you going to participate in that. And a lot of times, one of the interesting aspects of the value chain is that you need to develop partnerships with people in the other sections of the value chain. So you got to think of that, okay? Maybe it doesn't apply, but you still have to think it through. As a value, yeah. Would you, okay, for example, say um, my goal is to develop applications for smartphones, so do I, all, do I go all the way back to Intel who makes the chip for the smartphone, or should I just start with Nokia, Samsung, HTC? Well, the, that's, that's, the, that's the question. Okay, and, and, and you got to figure out the answer that suits you. So, but that's exactly, you know, the, the potential investor is going to say, well, okay, you're, you're developing this technology. Do you have to do the whole chip? Do you have to do, you know, or not? And sometimes, uh, you know, it can work both ways. Sometimes people tend to, do, to try to do too much when they should just be into a, one of these segments and understand that, you don't need to be in all of it. And then, and the opposite is also true. So that, but that's a very, you know, I think this is one of the areas that really does get overlooked when people think of their strategy. Because they've they got kind of a tunnel vision in one place. But you gotta lay it out and then see what the best strategy is, at least at the beginning.